be an elephant. Get you out to school without anything. What's the matter, Emily? You seem upset. Well, this is my worst day. Surely you can't be that bad. What's going on? Tomorrow is my teacher's birthday at school. At recess today, everyone in my class thought it would be great if we each brought a present for her. That sounds like a good idea. Are you upset because you are having a hard time finding a gift? Not just a hard time, an impossible time. I heard that my other classmates talking about what they are bringing. Are they going to bring some very nice things? They are bringing some of the greatest presents I have. I don't have anything like what they are bringing, so I'm going to have to buy a super nice one. You know, there is a saying, it's the thought that counts. I don't believe that. Everyone wants to see what I give and think that my gift is the best. I am not so sure that is the best way to go about giving a gift. Oh, it is. Believe me. Well, what do you have in mind? What if I got her a planet? A planet? Like Mars or Venus? Yeah, just like one of those. Wouldn't that be great? No one else would ever get a planet. Planets really aren't ours to give away. Besides, what would your teacher do with a planet? I don't know. Maybe she would build a nice home on it and she could take us on a field trip. Well, that certainly sounds like fun, but isn't very realistic, is it? A castle? Like your toy castle downstairs? No, not a toy castle. A real castle. A big, great, giant castle that has a great big door and lots of pretty flags. How are you going to get that to school? Hmm, good point. I don't think I could get that on the school bus. Probably not. Oh, wait. I know. I know what I could get her. I'll get a fancy new car. That way, I don't need to get into the school bus. We could just drive it to school. Well, that could definitely be easier than a castle. But do you really think you would give her a new car? Well, no, I guess not. I'm pretty sure a new car costs more than money. I have in my grandpa bank. Remember, Emily, you have to keep your teacher in mind when you get her a gift, not just how you are going to look to others. I guess so. When we give gifts to people, it is a way to show we care about them. It is not just to make us look better to the people that see. But that is so hard. I want everyone to think my gift is the best. Sometimes the best gift is just something simple that comes from your heart. Well, how does something come from your heart? That just means that it is something you carefully thought about and you gave it because you care. So, I guess I don't really need to get her the biggest or the best. I just need to give something that shows that I care. That's exactly right. Do you remember the women in our lesson on giving? Well, I kind of. Didn't she give money when she visited the temple? Right, boys and girls. Do you remember what the temple was? The temple back then is the church we now go to. Do any of you boys and girls remember how much the lady gave? That's right. The Bible says she gave two mites. Dude, I didn't know that. Wouldn't they jump out and run all over the place? That is so gross. Not mice, mites. That means she gave two small coins. And what do you think the other people at the temple thought? I would be so embarrassed if that was me. Why is that, Emily? Because I didn't give as much as everyone else. The Bible says that Jesus watched her and told his disciples that what she gave was more special than all of the others before her. Really? Even though she gave more? Yes, because they gave a little bit out of all that they had. 
But she gave everything she had, even if it was just a little bit. What is special about that? It is special because she gave from her heart. She gave what was special to her to show God that she loved him. So, even show that we care? That's right, Emily. So, I guess that when I think of a care for my teacher, I should just think about giving her something that shows her I care, instead of making my gifts better than everyone else's. You've got it, Emily. Why don't you go think about something that you could give to your teacher to show her that you care? Okay, I'm going to go do that. Dad, can you come with me? I would love to. Bye, Auntie Christina. Bye, boys and girls. Emily learned a very important lesson about giving. When you give, you should always do it to show those you are giving to that you care. You should never give just to make yourself look better to other people. This was the important lesson that Jesus was teaching his disciples in the lesson we learned on giving. The widow who gave the two coins didn't mind that she was giving everything she had. She wanted to show God how much she loved him. We talked about the ways that you could give to God to show him how much you love him. This week, can you think of something you could give to someone to show how much you care? Maybe you can give a toy to someone you know that doesn't have one. Maybe you could make a card for someone who is not feeling well. Maybe you can give your time and your help to your parents by playing with your little brother or sister. There are many ways you can give to others to show them that you care. Let's pray and ask God to help us think of things that we can give this coming week. Boys and girls, bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for you gave your son, Jesus Christ, for us, even though we sin. Thank you, Lord, for the boys and girls that have joined us this week for our lesson. And we pray that you will help them to think about someone that they can show love to this week by giving them something. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.